two major religions of the world, Christianity and Islam. Christians claim from the Bible that Jesus Christ was crucified on the cross. Christ through the spirit, he talks about himself, I was dead, now I am alive. But the Muslims assert from the Quran that he was not killed, nor was he crucified. The Messenger of Allah, وَمَا قَتَلُوهُ وَمَا سَلَبُوهُ They did not kill him, neither did they crucify him. And what is the truth? Decide for yourself. Pastor Ruknuddin Henry Pio, better known as Pastor Rukni, is 43 years. He is an Arab Christian missionary. He was born a Christian in Basra, Iraq, and later on brought up in Kuwait. He has postgraduated Masters in Science from the University of Bombay. He has had varied experience in teaching, including computer education and training, teaching the Arabic language, consultancy for computerization and development of computer software, programs in Arabic. He has been in the field of conveying the message of Christianity for over a decade. He is a Bible teacher and preacher with the India Gospel Mission. He is also a renowned faith healer. The second speaker for the day, Dr. Zakir. Dr. Zakir Abdul Karim Naik, 33 years, is the president of the Islamic Research Foundation, Bombay. A medical doctor by professional training, he has turned around to make the proper clarification as well as removing misconceptions about Islam, his main mission in life. He is a keen student of Islam and comparative religion. In the last three years itself, Dr. Zakir has delivered more than 300 public talks abroad in addition to his many talks in India. He has also participated in many symposia and debates with prominent personalities of other faith. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. In the name of God, most gracious, most merciful. Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen. Praise be to God, Lord of the worlds. A respected Pastor Saji Palikal on my right. Pastor Ruknuddin Henry Pio on my extreme right. Dr. Zakir Naik on my left. Distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen. On behalf of the organizers, the India Gospel Mission and the Islamic Research Foundation, I welcome all of you to this unique event today, a discussion, a dialogue, a symposium, a debate, whatever you may prefer to call it, on the topic, was Christ really crucified? It is being held in a spirit of friendship towards understanding each other's viewpoints. I. Dr. Muhammad Naik, I am the coordinator for today's program. Hence, I will be neutral. It is my onerous duty to ensure a fair and proper conduct of today's meeting. Therefore, I would request our speakers as well as the audience collected here today to maintain Geo decorum for a healthy debate. Before we got here today, I was asked 
by many people. Why this topic? Why these speakers only? The answer to which I could briefly summarize in the background to this debate. Pastor Rockney had come to the Islamic Research Foundation for a discussion with Dr. Zakir. It was mutually agreed between them that instead of a personal discussion between them, it would be more preferable and better to have an open public debate on a particular topic at a convenient hall, such that the public too could hear and share in the debate and be the final judge. Dr. Zakir suggested the topics, is the Bible God's word or was Jesus God? But Pastor Rockney considered these topics too common and instead suggested the topic selected for today's debate, that is, was Christ really crucified? That's how the topic for the debate and the two speakers are before all of us today. As agreed to and decided fair by the speakers, the format for the debate will be, Pastor Rockney will address you first for 45 minutes on the topic, was Christ really crucified? Then Dr. Zakir will make his presentation on the same topic for 45 minutes. Then we would have a rebuttal session in which Pastor Rockney would comment and respond for 15 minutes to what Dr. Zakir has spoken, followed by Dr. Zakir too speaking and responding for 15 minutes to what Pastor Rockney has presented. When five minutes are left to conclude the talk as well as the rebuttal, I as the coordinator would hand each speaker a five minutes left slip, an indication slip like this, in which time both the speakers are kindly requested to conclude their talk or rebuttal. Lastly, we would have the open question and answer session in which the audience may pose questions to each of the speakers alternately on the question mics we have provided, two here next to the stage and two in the ladies section. Only if time permits, we would allow questions on slips which may be passed on to me and I would read out to the speakers. I would like to now briefly introduce the speaker, Pastor Rockney, before his talk and I would likewise introduce Dr. Zakir before his talk. Pastor Ruknuddin Henry Pio, better known as Pastor Rukni, is 43 years. He is an Arab Christian missionary. He was born a Christian in Basra, Iraq and later on brought up in Kuwait. He has postgraduated with a Master's in Science from the University of Bombay. He has had varied experience in teaching, including computer education and training, teaching the Arabic language, consultancy for computerization and development of computer software, programs in Arabic. He has been in the field of conveying the message of Christianity for over a decade. He is a Bible teacher and preacher with the India Gospel Mission. He is also a renowned faith healer. May I call upon Pastor Rukni to make his presentation. Pastor Rukni.